hello everyone you're welcome back to this channel what i have today is how to make a very simple english top office top sorry in this video i'm going to take you through step by step it's very very easy it's a straightforward um tour so you will really enjoy this video all you need to do is just to take your time and watch this video to the end thank you very much now i have uh, this fabric it's just one yard so it's double length that is by 60 so what i'm going to do right now this is the right side of this same um, fabric i'm going to turn it to the wrong side so depending on the pattern i will also be considering the pattern it actually depends on you if you want you can see it's of a, it's a stripe uh, fabric I will be making use of the um, vertical one that is the straight one down from one edge to another but if you want your own horizontal no problem but for this um, particular video i will be making use of the vertical uh, strand so right now you can see i folded it into two so i'm going to refold it again to give me four pieces So I have four pieces, one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to start immediately. I'm going to make a, uh, a line across this edge. So the line I'm making will be serving as my shoulder line. So just watch. So I'm using white chalk because I wouldn't want this fabric to stain. So bear with me, please. So this line is my shoulder line. Now, from this shoulder line, I'm going to measure... I'm going to measure from here to this place what I'm going to do right now is to start straight forward now my shoulder is um, 14 inches now when I divide 14 inches by 2 it gives me 7 inches so I will be cutting both the front and the back at the same time and that's why I folded it into 4 so 7 for the shoulder line plus half an inch making 7.5 so I'm going to place my rule now the bust of this same of top of this top is 36 inches and 36 divided by 4 will give me 9 inches so that 9 i'm going to subtract one and half from nine so i'll be having 7.5 so the 7.5 is going to be uh the 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 length of my hammer the ammo line but before then i'm going to mark 0 0.5 which is going to be for the shoulder slope 0 0.5 you could make yours one but i just prefer 0 0.5 it's okay by me then from that point, I'm going to place my rule. Then I mark 7.5 downward as my ammo line. So I'm going to connect this line to this point here. So right now, on this line where the the ammo line stops i'm going to place my row then i mark for my bus bus side conference and the bus is says 36 inches divided by four i have a uh, nine inches 
so I have my 9 inches right here plus 1 1 plus 1 inch for my seam allowance so I extend it to that 1 inch okay so right now from the shoulder line I'm going to measure I'm going to measure 16 inches or 16.5 inches which is going to be for my uh, the half length that is the waist line 16.5 so on this line I'm going to place my rule for the waist side conference my waist side conference whatever I have here because it's going to be a bit free is not too tight so whatever I have on the bust, like when I place my rule now, I'll, I have 10. So I'm going to deduct 1 inch or less than 1 inch from what I have here. Then that's what I'm going to mark on the waistline. Less than 10 inches. So I'm going to connect straight. So, the full length of this top is 23.5 inches. Now, I have my 23.5 inches right here. That's the full length of this top. Then, I'm going to add one inch for the folding. So, which is going to give me the total of 24.5 inches. Can you see? So I'm going to connect this to the other end. Now before I connect, whatever I have on the boss TA is exactly what I'm going to transfer to the down part of, of this top. So I have here 10 inches. You can see on the boss side conference. So I'm going to transfer the exact um, figure, 10 inches on the down part of this same top so right now i'm going to connect i connect this line to this line so if you use your free hand you can, if you use your, your french curve whatever will be easy for you so you can see i'm just using my free hand so So right now, I'll quickly go to the hammer. Now I have 7.5 here. So I will be measuring from this place. I measure 4. 4 inch. Then here, I'm going to measure 1 inch at this corner. Then I connect. So now for the for the front one, I'm going to reduce this by half an inch inward. That's half inch. Then I reconnect. So this is one is going to be for the front um, piece. So right now I come to the to the neckline. The neckline, I'm going to measure 3 inches. That is the width of the neckline, 3 inches. Then the depth, 3.5 inches. That is for the front piece, 3.5. I come here also 3.5 so that I can achieve a straight line. After which I connect together, then I can connect... Can you see so right now i also connect this so i come to the back 
the back i'm going to lower it the depth of the back is 1.2 or one inch then i also measured exactly what i have here one inch then i connect a, a slight curve you see so coming to the curve of the of the front i'm going to come down by less than half an inch here less than half an inch so that i can achieve a perfect then here i come down by one from that one is where i'm going to start the curve you see so that i can achieve a perfect um, neckline so right now i came down here by half an inch for the shoulder slope i'm going to connect to this point here so i can now cut off so you can see i'm done what i'm going to do next right now is to cut it out let me start from the bottom I call the front one first front arm line up to the shoulder slope then I cut the back the back depth Going to remove this front from this so that I can reshape the front piece. So the front piece, this is the front, the depth neckline. Then the hammer. So you can see. This is the front, yes, and this is the back. This is the back. So right now, I'm left with cutting the sleeve. So sorry, I'm going to cut um, the little facing for the outer part just to beautify the, 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 the neckline. So you can see this is the shape of the neck, neckline, so of the neck. So I'm going to fold this into two. So I'm going to refold this, that is the front piece, into two. Then I place this on it like so. I'm 
going to shift this a bit. So I'm going to trace the line. So right now, I'm going to measure from this point, I'm going to measure three inches, three. So, so I will be measuring three inches down. I have three inches here and I place it on this line. I measure three inches I place it I measure three inches so you could either add to this place when it comes to this side you could make it 3.5 inch then I'm going to connect this together Connect. So I'm going to cut it out. Because it's the front one. Sorry, it's because I'm going to place it in the front. So it has to be uh, the same uh, and, um, figure, 3 inches. It is when I'm making that of inner that I may decide to make um, this part longer than. So it has to be three inches all round. So right now I'm going to cut. I cut this also so so I'm going to cut one of these more so making it two so what I'm going to do is just to place this on this and use this to cut it out So as you can see, I'm done cutting the, this is the facing, the front facing. Can you see, all what I did was just to place it the way I placed the other one. Then you can see what I was actually saying the other time. Now the depth of that when it comes to facing, that is when I will use it to turn it inward, the, the front part has to be a bit longer. I have five here, but coming to this side, I have like three inches or 3.5 inches. So, but when it comes to the cape, it has to be the same, the same length, uh, except you want to give it a unique one where it becomes another style entirely. So I want to appreciate you all for taking your time to watch this um, video, very short and straightforward. Thanks for watching till I come your way again. Bye for now. So here comes the end of this tutorial. Can you see the top? very neat can you see look at the cape very neat and beautiful so i want to really appreciate you for taking your time to watch this video thank you very very much so if you like this video especially the past buys Kindly click on the liking button to appreciate this work. Thank you very much. So, till I come your way again. Thanks for watching. Bye.